Hi, this is Belinda with Belinda's Bobbles, and welcome to a little mini episode. Um, I just figured I would come on here. I had the chance. I'm downtown Fort Worth, which is what you're seeing out the window behind me, and I found a little coffee shop that is called, oh shoot, what is this place called? It's called the Legal Cafe, and it's inside of an actual law office downtown across from the courthouse. Now, I'm downtown this week doing my civic duty, and we had a break, and I, am of course, have my knitting with me, and I saw this room all set up because apparently they do some YouTube and videos and stuff like that in here, so I'm like, ooh, should I? Shouldn't I? Of course I'm going to, you know? Okay, so I know the lighting is going to be weird because, of course, they have all these lights and everything in here that they use, but I'm not going to use their setup. So excuse all the um, sunshine coming and going in the back with the skyscrapers and everything, but I figured I'd just, you know, come on and talk to you guys because there is so much going on this month. So DFW Fiber Fest. By the way, I am in Texas. If you're new here, welcome. <laughs> And um, normally this is a knitting, crochet, whatever crafting I get up to with out and abouts and everything else. And this week is the DFW Fiber Fest coming up this weekend in um, at the Irving Convention Center, and I am going. I am excited to go, and originally I was going to be going for Saturday and Sunday, but unfortunately it's looking like it's Definitely Saturday, maybe Sunday, um, just because some work stuff cropped up. And then the following week, I'm heading back to the D.C. area and staying with friends in Virginia. And I found out that the following weekend, while I'm only 70 miles away, is the Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival up in the mountains. So, of course, you know, I'm going to rent a car and I'm going to drive up there. Because, <laughs> you know, just because I went to a five, one fiber festival doesn't mean I don't need to go to a second one. So, I am taking you guys this month to two different fiber festivals that are about 1,300 miles apart, I think is what I figured out. Because, you know, I'm going from the middle of the United States out to the coast, basically and into the mountains. So strap on your seat belts. It's gonna be a wild ride these next few weeks. And I'm gonna get the videos put together as quickly as I can. But in the meantime, while sitting in the juror room or whenever I have um, a break, I have been working on my silver bells by Tin Can Knits. Look at this. I finished out the body. And I'm working on the sleeves. And these are going to be short sleeves. Now, I love, love, love the bobbles. And I'm holding just, uh, I'm holding a regular Nomad eggshell with an Inca. I'll have to put the information. Um, I know the color is carnelian and it's just so pretty. But I'll put the information here down below because I can't get to things that are on my phone while I'm talking to you guys and there's no way I'm going to memorize all this and keep it in my, my mind. But I'm almost done with this sleeve and then I'll have this sleeve to do. Today is Tuesday, so I still have time to finish this up to be able to sweat in it here in Texas at the Fiber Festival. My brother Bill has always said that basically when we go out to these things, we are wearing our resumes. So, of course, I want to wear something that's exciting. Um, otherwise, I do have my Flutterbutt shirt that I was planning on wearing. So, I've got two fiber festivals, two to three days to be able to wear um, yarn. And so, I'm going to be wearing it, you know? Wouldn't you? <laughs> So I'm working on this, and of course, you, you have to have something easy. Of course, I'm the only one in there doing this. How is it everywhere I go out in public, I am the only one I see with yarn out? Where are the rest of you guys? 
I mean, honestly, I know that you're out there and I'm not the only fanatic. So I have just my muscle bar here that I'm working on for Seaver. So I'm getting a little bit further along and I'm doing this instead of socks at the moment, even though I am planning on jumping on the bandwagon with um, Allie from Little Drops, Little Drops of Wonderful. What am I doing here? Am I losing a stitch? No, I thought I was losing a stitch. Um, but I'm going to be doing this. Oh shoot, what is it called? It's not simply. Okay, so yeah, I've already had a coffee and a tea and apparently I need more caffeine. But um, shoot, I'm gonna be doing the Strictly Sock Along. My problem right now is usually where I shine with her is my cheats. <laughs> I've gotten a little bit of attention on my cheats the last few years and so I gotta find a way to up one up myself and it's getting harder to one up myself to find something new and unusual to do. But you know, if you guys have any ideas, come on, hand them in. I would love to see it. But I've got that to figure out and I think I have some yarn with Charming You that I'm wanting to get to make a pair of socks. It's a fade, it's gorgeous. Um, I've had it linked over on my Instagram, but I have been way too distracted this week. I'm trying to knit, but every time I pick up my phone, I get distracted and I end up scrolling through all the different makers that are going to be at the DFW Fiber Fest, and I am shopping before I even get there. There is so much cool stuff that's coming. And then, of course, there's a whole other grouping of makers that are going to be at Shenandoah Valley. I think I found maybe two or three vendors that are going to be at both locations. Jim Lux Yarn is going to be at both locations, I know. I'm not sure who else, but I know there was a couple that I'm actually going to see in both locations, so they're gonna think I'm stalking them. Not that I wouldn't, but no, I'm not. <laughs> so, y'all need to be proud of me, okay? I actually made this long enough because I have found I have a problem. Jeanette, it's not a bad problem, I promise you. I don't need treatment or anything, um, even though your daughter is a good enabler for me. <laughs> Thanks so much, Heather. But um, I have a tendency, once I get down into the body with as many stitches as I'm dealing with, I get tired, I get worn out, I wanna cast off and move on to something else and I have a tendency to cast off too early. I did make this one long enough. It's 15 inches, I think, down through here, which is long enough for me to get over my um, jeans. But I did have to pull my cast off out three times. I was getting a little impatient. <laughs> I love the marling here, but this last week, I took my, uh, what is it? White Mountain, I'm thinking. I think it's a White Mountain Light. I'll put it down here. But that vest, because I love the way it looks when people have the longer shirts on and then the cropped vest over top with the um, bottoms of the shirts hanging out. I love the way that looks. So I made a couple of tops last winter and vest with that in mind. Problem being, I am too boxy. I am way too boxy and I just cannot get away with that. So instead I've had to um, pull those out, add a couple of inches, and now I can wear them and they look much better on me. But I am, those were intentional short. I'm finding way too many of my items that I'm having to do that too though. The th good thing is, is most of mine are knit from the top down. So it's not as huge of a deal, but it's still a pain in the neck. 
to pull out all those stitches and then have to move on. Oh. So, what else have I got going on? I am doing a crochet test knit, or not test knit, a test crochet pattern. It's for a top. It's called It's About Time. It's not a secret or anything. And this top is designed by one of a Kate. I met her last year at um, DFW Fiber Fest, and we got to talking and everything. And so I've started following her. And so this is my first chance to do one of her patterns. And it is so much fun. I, of course, don't have it with me today because it's three skeins. It's a little harder to carry around. But I will put in some pictures right here. All right, so I am crocheting this, and it's going to be basically two panels put together. It is cropped, so I may be adding a little extra length onto it than what she calls for. But it's taking three skeins, and three skeins is plenty for a top for me, and even crochet. But it's taking three skeins and throwing them together and highlighting maybe three skeins of yarns that you found that you love, but you don't know what you're gonna do with. So I am actually using, uh, let's see if I can remember. One is, okay, so the green and purple one that I have in here is from Charming You. It's Beetlejuice. I'm remembering this. The gray is called Jack, and it is from I was remembering it. Hank Me Home Tonight with Gloria. And then the mohair is actually from West Seventh Wool. It's some of theirs called Glowworm. And I am loving how this is looking. It feels so good. Now I try, I was working on this the other night whenever I was on date night and it was just so hot outside that the mohair and yarn in general was just sticking to my hand, so I had to give up on that um, when I was listening to music and everything outside. But I did have a great time. So I have that I'm working on. And the pattern is supposed to be released. She's working on having it released by the middle of October. Please do follow um, one of a Kate and take a look at her stuff. It's gorgeous. She does knit and crochet patterns. Now let me think, what else am I up to? I think that's about it. So I am going to label this as an actual podcast, even though it's going to be probably 10 minutes long. I am throwing things at you quickly and everything, but you will definitely be seeing and hearing from me the rest of the month. And come along. If you're in the area and you see me, please do say hi. I would love to meet up with you or meet you, and I will be, I'm trying to get this released quickly enough, um, Saturday, I am going to be in On The Lambs um, booth. She's had a whole thing going on this week, and she had to be closed for a week, and so the, um, DFW Fiber Fest has graciously given her a booth so she can kind of pick up her sales a little bit, but she is, her and Gloria are setting this up in a wild way. Beetlejuice is in play. So if you are at the DFW Fiber Fest, go to the back right corner next to the fiber or over from the Fiber Tory and um, see what they are up to. But I am going to be there Saturday. I think I said about, I think I said two o'clock. I think I said I'd be there around two o'clock. So I'm going to go hang out over there on their comfy couch and just talk and have some fun and get a break from filming and everything. So come join me, hang out, have some fun, do a little shopping, and we are going to have a blast. Okay, so I think that is about it for now. I'm going to get back on my sleeve. Isn't it pretty? I'm loving this. Sorry, <laughs> I'm admiring it. <laughs> Um, and I will see you all soon. Now, if y'all have issues with, you know, stopping too soon or you have something that helps you get through it, please uh, drop a comment down below and let me know. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. 
I was Belinda from the future, and guess what I forgot to mention? Uh, I am having a make-along. It started the beginning of September and is going until the 31st of October. It is a Halloween make-along, and I've got entries over on Ravelry. There's already a thread there. You don't even have to finish. Just make entries, and as long as it has a photograph attached to it, um, it is an entry. Even if it's just um, your plans, what you're doing with it, or whatever's going on with it, just anything like that. If you do not use Ravelry, that's okay too. Just email me at belindasbobbles at gmail.com, and I'll put it in right down here, and just um, email me your entry, even again, if it's photos of what you're planning to put, use, your yarn you're going to use, your, you know, just as well as once you get started and your finished objects, all of those. Now, the prize will be a pattern prize. That way it makes to where I'm not dealing with shipping or anything right around the holidays. So please do um, join in, and thanks a lot for letting me come in and do a little extra.